New details from the lawsuit against CoreCivic from Metro employees and former inmates who were all infected with scabies. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan joins us with new information tonight. Kyle, there are claims tonight that CoreCivic took some drastic measures to keep this outbreak quiet. Yeah, the suit alleges that one of the inmates here was put in solitary confinement because she questioned the assistant uh, warden there about the scabies infestation. Now, the new suit was released about a week ago and has been extended, expanded from 9 to 22 pages in length. Also, another plaintiff, Maria Schaffner, a probation officer, was added to the suit. The new suit claims Core Civic, formerly known as Corrections Corporation of America, knew about a scabies outbreak in the jail for a year and took no action until the infestation was brought to light through the health department. It also contains a letter from one of the inmates. It says female inmates were infected since mid-March, but detention facility staff were given hydrocortisone, Benadryl, and another drug that doesn't treat scabies to the inmates. It says nothing would have been done had those inmates not contacted family members who then contacted the health department. Now the lawsuit says these offenses that contribute to negligence on the part of course civic. It states that the reason this infestation spread out of the jail and into the Birch building. The attorney behind the class action Gary Blackburn believes that even more people will be added to this class action suit as the months go along. Reporting Kyle Horan, News Channel 5.